Okay, today we're going to be soldering some wires together, fixing some electrical on a lawnmower that somebody kind of messed with and chopped stuff up. And you're going to need it's electrical solder. What it is, it's got a rosin core in it, which is basically just flux in the middle of it. And it also has lead, so only use this for electrical. Don't use this for plumbing. You're going to want some heat shrink. It comes in all different sizes. This is a big roll of stuff. You can get big pieces for doing big stuff. Little pieces. Even smaller ones. Your wires, of course, and a soldering iron. I ain't got a gun, I got an old soldering iron, but it works great. You gotta have one that gets hot enough or they never work. And this, it's a little tool you can make real easy. This is just solid copper wire, what's in your house, and two alligator clips soldered to it. And what this does, you wanna take your wires here, and you wanna shove them together. You don't wanna curl the wire, you just wanna leave it straight and you shove them together like that and then you twist it. And then you take this and you put it on each side of it and you kind of bend this in a bit to hold the wires in there tight while you're soldering. And you can take this and you can stick it in like a vise, something like this to hold it so you can do your soldering. When you're soldering you're going to want to take the soldering iron and hold it on the wire. I already got mine warmed up. And you're just going to want to sit here and heat up the wire until the wire is good and hot. And then you'll take and you'll add your solder from this side and you'll add it to the wire. And you just got to get plenty in there. So I'll get this set up in the vise and we'll do it. If you have a piece where you can't put it on from the other end, this piece I can put it on from this end, you want to put on your heat shrink before you do it. Because like with this piece, Say I was doing something else over here where I couldn't get it, I'd want to put a piece on right here before I solder, otherwise you're not going to be able to get your heat shrink on. Now we'll start heating. Want to go from all sides? You'll be able to tell when the wire is warm enough. So you'll be able to stick it on the soldering iron and it'll actually go into the wire, it'll flow into it. Not quite warm enough yet. It's getting there though. There we go, now she's warm enough, it'll melt on the top side of the wire. Which is what you want, because then it flows into your wires good. She looks like she should be good. Take it out. And just check. Make sure it's good and snug, it's not going to come apart. So then you're done. Actually melted my insulation a bit there, but it'll be okay. That's what you put heat shrink on it for. So I'll just take, you want to take like a propane or a map gas torch, even a match will sometimes work if it gets warm enough. You just want to shrink this. I'll see if I can do it with a match first. And there you go. You have a joint that will not corrode. Here's another method you can use other than using a match to do it. You can actually take your soldering iron. And there you go.